Hi all, it's October 11th, um, daily challenge run. Uh, hey, it's Claire again. <laughs> so let's see if this goes any better. So yeah, I'm back on Render Programming at work, which is nice. Um, yeah, the thing I'm doing at the moment, camera, save me! <laughs> I love that trick. It's one of my favorites. Um, yeah, so... It's really nice when you on PS4 um, with the render side of things can't really talk about much. Um, it's one of these things I really wish NDAs were more, um, like we opened up more about NDAs and stuff because I think we could have more interesting discussions. Um, like I was at a like NDA conference but the entire, you know, everyone who attended the conference was under NDA. And all the talks were from like senior engineers and stuff, and it was amazing. It was really, really fabulous, you know, to, to have that that discussion. And, and the level of discussion was so much higher than you normally have, because you're able to talk about, okay, here's the underlying chipset, and here's the instruction set, and here's what we can do with it, and this is some cool thing we did on this game. Um, and, you know, there's no journalists there and there's no fear of exposure or reprimand. So yeah, the, the talks are a lot more free-flowing and, um, you know, everyone in the room, you know, by virtue of having been invited, probably knows what they're talking about. I'd say probably because, you know, some people will just be there because yeah, reasons. Um, oh, bollocks. She took the arrow for me, but then I got pushed off and took damage. Fuck. <laughs> so it's like a double negative, and she's dead now. I killed her! I'm a monster! I'm a blue teddy bear monster! I will ever live with myself. But yeah, so I just, I, I wish we had more, like, discussions about that kind of stuff. Um, because it's a bit annoying if you go to a, a normal conference, most of the talks are kind of crap, because most of them are either trying to sell you something, like it's, you know, a company X talk, or it's, um, here's how we did this thing that's really obvious on this very popular game and it's like well okay <laughs> um you know this is a well studied and well you know established technique and you're just getting the stage to talk about it because you're big game x and you're spending half the time advertising your big game x so that's never cool and um yeah, so uh, the quality, I mean, some, some conferences are way better than those, some have really great talks. Um, I still enjoy going to conferences because you meet up with a lot of really cool people. And, as I say, some of the conversations are just amazing. Um, it's so worth it. But then others, you're like, why am I here? Especially if you, the company didn't send you any pets and you own money. Die, shopkeeper, die! <laughs> you just steal everything! 
I'm a horrible person. Um, <laughs> I'm the blue teddy bear. I killed damsels and I. Oh shit. Yeah, so anyway, but it's it's nice to it's nice to be working on a high end platform. It's nice to be doing render code. Um, yeah, no, it's a fairly standard render job. But it has a bit of artistic flair, which is one of my favorites. Um, one of the things I really like working with shaders is like it's that wonderful mixture of art and code. And people are like, well, okay, I'm not going to use the trick today. I'm going to just grab it. Oh, I hate the shotgun. Hmm. You know, some people say that I wasn't worth getting in this case. I think I might agree with them. Especially as I know I've got a shopkeeper to deal with somewhere. I forgot I was running. Wanted by the law. <laughs> yeah, so, um... Yeah, that's nice. Working on that. I wish I could be doing more with whole shoes, but... Time doesn't allow, so I'm more trap by the tested technique. If you steal my shotgun, I'm going to be so pissed with you.
Hmm. Must be a shopkeeper in a... A shopkeeper in a, like, stone block thing that's still triggering the music. Yeah, I'm afraid that's the real sad thing about games is that, well, it's sad. It's kind of awesome. Um, sometimes, because sometimes you have a total win or a lot of industries don't. But yeah, um, just because of production times and stuff, you usually have to go with the tried and tested method, and the weird ass experiments are usually saved for when we cannot find any other solution, or you've got, um, free time. Uh, whether it's because you're hunting for new work, or... Oh, bollocks! <sighs> Fucking hell. I'm losing life to race. Stupid ass shit. Um, yeah, because you're hunting for work, or... Um, Yeah, because you're hunting for work, or you've got free time, or whatnot, and that's when um, most like R and D and weird ideas come out. As I said, unless there's a situation where everyone's like, "Oh my God, we're totally fucked. We need some weird ass way of getting ourselves out of this problem we've designed ourselves into," <laughs> um, in which gets people a lot more open for the crazy ideas. Um, but normally the crazy ideas have to take a backseat to these oh, bollocks! <sighs> I totally shouldn't have died there. That was a stupid death. But it was a fun run. Made it to the jungle. Cheers all.